New Thankful trilogy in AOS, yay or nay? Uh, definitely yay. More Thankful, please. You can never have too much Thankful. Anyone who says otherwise is a liar. Uh, I guess we'll go south. Go away from the Legion of Sirens, preferably. Hey, Gruz God, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Thankful randomly ported himself into the 40k universe by accident. I mean, he basically randomly ported himself into the AOS universe by accident, so. Yeah, I mean, I think we can all agree that easily one of the worst aspects of 40k as a setting is how grossly under underutilized Xenos are. Like, they have so many cool alien races you hear about and none of them are playable and barely any of them have much lore or art which is such a damn shame ah great we're overweight Geralt's been hitting the looted chest a little too hard I'm gonna have to like teleport to Novigrad so I can sell all this shit. Like it's fine if they want to have a shitload of space marines, but they should also have shitloads of the other stuff too. I'm new to 40k, get into Dark Tide. I'd like to watch some lore in the meantime. What's a good place to start? Um, if you, uh, my recommendation would probably be Luton, L-U-E-T-I-N-09. Uh, Luton is fantastic. Uh, he's a really, really good lore channel um, uh, who does like a lot of really crazy deep dives. Uh, if you want like a really cinematic experience, um, like with like a really thematic um, voice behind it, um, then Baldermort can be really good. So like Voldemort, but with bald instead of Vold. Uh, Baldermort has like an amazing voice for... Um, kind of a, a a very like immersive experience uh so that could be really good um um there, there's a man there's a shitload of four channels um he was on yeah we we had we had Voldemort on Lorebeards once because he he's friends with Nathan um But th those would probably be the two channels I would rec recommend at the moment. There, there are many others. There's so many 40k lore channels, it's not even funny. I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't call it an oversaturated market, but it's an oversaturated market. Bandit camp. Well, we'll take care of this in a hot second. I just can't, I can't run. Excuse me, gentlemen. Could you come over here so I could kill you? Ow, what? Thank you. Is Long Drawn canon? Yes. Long Drawn and his Slayer Pirates are still canon. Some of their specific circumstances might have changed, but they still, they, they do exist in the modern setting. I'm so fat. Here's a question. 
there's a channel i like called of is ridiculous who's like joking about silly stuff obviously he wouldn't do the same but he whatever like oh dude i'd love to do that um back when uh if the emperor had an ex text to speak device was a thing i so so badly wanted to do my own take on it being if lord what if lord croak had a text to speak device um, and I was actually trying to, I was actually working with, um, someone who was able to emulate a very similar animation style, um, and was working on like getting the blessings of the, the guy behind it, behind the emperor series. Cause I, I didn't want to just do it. You know, I wanted to make sure that he was cool with it. Um, cause while it would be its own thing, it would be different. It would be very much, you know, you know, breaking off the same piece of bread. Um, but I, I really wanted to do that. Um, unfortunately, it didn't work out for, obviously. Um, between everything that happened to TTS and, like, the uncertainty of animations right now. Um, and the, the guy I was talking to is, unfortunately, fell off the face of the, fell off the, face of the earth. Which is, sucks. croak just berating Mazda Mundi that would happen eventually you, you wouldn't have him meet Mazda Mundi right away it would it would be mostly him berating a series of, uh like a it would mostly be him berating skinks for a bit and then it would eventually build up to like different slong characters but just the idea of like Lord croak like having been vaguely aware of the world um, for the last 8,000 years, but not knowing any of the specifics, and all of a sudden he's, like, brought back into the modern time. Do I think we'll get more demons in a dark tide? That would be super nice. I would love more demons. No, go away. Go! Get off my boat! How numerous are beastmen compared to Skaven or Greenskins? Uh Beastmen are the pro uh, Beastmen are the least numerous of the three. But there are still a shitload of them. How did Croak die? Uh, he was ripped apart by over a dozen bloodthirsters at once. And then he proceeded to absolutely obliterate all of those bloodthirsters and all their friends. Uh, if you look at a video I have on my channel called the top five most powerful spells ever cast, um, that goes into significant details about the death of Lord Croak. So check that out. Oh, Brandon, I mean, that would be cool, but I, I, I don't think, uh, unfortunately, as fun as that would be, I don't think it's something that's good to touch at this moment. Um, not by chef! Um, because we're not, I'm still not really sure where GW stands as far as fan animations are concerned. Like, I know, like, videos like mine they're fine with, apparently. Uh, and they also seem perfectly fine with, like, uh, fan art um, but animations is still kind of a you know it's still wobbly it seems like they're kind of they're easing off the brakes on that and they're leaving people alone because there have been some new fan animations coming out in recent times and they seem to be being left alone which is a good sign but you know obviously nothing's for sure My uncle works at GW. He said he brought Lord Croak back just for me. Aw, oh, man. Your uncle's such a good guy, dude. I'm glad he looks out for me. Fight to the Caribbean game looks great, doesn't it? How do the beast paths work in Warhammer Fantasy? So, beast paths are essentially secret routes that the beastmen have formed over hundreds of years um, through like the deep darks uh, undergrowths of the forest uh, that allows them to move far faster um, than anyone else moving that to that forest because they're basically like shortcuts. Um, 
Is this Assassin's Creed Black Flag? Yep. Can't you see the black flag I have? It's it's the blackest flag you've ever seen. Obviously. Can't you? Duh. Um. But um. What was I saying? Um. <laughs> um, but so it's it's not like the underway in that the underway is an actual constructed space um, Like the underway was built and it's it's a series of like Caves essentially deep underground that connect all these different locations and was very deliberately designed The the beast paths are more like natural paths that have formed by the passage of the beastmen um, And their herds over hundreds of years but um, uh, they're but they're like they're hidden in like the, the tangled undergrowth and all sorts of other stuff. Um, you know, from over the all these years, and they're virtually impossible for anyone else to see and find because they're mostly based on. They're mostly, the beastmen mostly find them through like a sense of smell uh, and also like recognize herding grounds and stuff like that. What are the silent people? The silent people are a race from Age of Sigmar that a lot of people, myself included, were hoping were going to be a new faction that ended up not, which was a huge bummer. Um, but basically the silent people are a bug species in Age of Sigmar. And they were, apparently they're an ancient race of Gur, which is the realm of beasts, and they are native to a living mountain called the Beast Grave. And um, a long time ago when they all, something happened a long time ago, probably like the age of, start of the age of chaos, but something happened um, or sometime around the end of the age of myth and the start of the age of chaos and the silent people vanished and we found out where they actually went is that they like imprisoned themselves inside of a bunch of amber um and once they were imprisoned uh and they basically did it to themselves so that they could uh like i guess hibernate or whatever so uh, and they developed a lot of really really powerful artifacts and they're really scary looking bug people like they're kind of like large ant men or like mantis men and a lot of people in the age of sigmar community were really really hoping that they were going to be a new destruction race and then nothing happened unfortunately like we've already left the beast grave we there were two seasons in the beast grave and this, it's already over we're not even in the realm of beasts anymore for underworlds Yeah, they they were they were kind of like the Tragara, but Tragara. I, I saw Nathan put out a video on the Tragara today that th the second I looked at the title, it made me roll my eyes into the back of my head because Tragara are like super modern. Like Tragara are not new, um, or are not are not a super duper old thing. However, Nathan's doing a video on like really fucking old Tragara lore, um, whereas modern Tragara are literally just giant praying mantises <laughs> that, that's that's all they are they're they're giant praying mantises that live underground and they prey on skaven uh, because the tragara are a uh they are like i've done a video on the tragara already as part of my monstrous arcanum series if you watch my halloween special from like two years ago uh the tragara feature in it as the uh, oops i sank the boat my bad um the tragara feature in it as the second to last video or like the third to last video, something like that. Like they are by uh, Nathan. I love Nathan. I always, I find it. I, I, I say this with love, not with disdain. Genuinely say this with love, not disdain. So don't get me wrong. I, I find so many of his videos to be ridiculous. <laughs> Like, he'll make a video about something, and I'll, like, see it and be like, what is that? Like, wh who would make a video about that? It's like, oh, no, it's Nathan, of course. <laughs> like, Nathan loves his, like, ancient obscure shit. Yeah, oh, yeah, no, he pushes out content. He's got the hustle. That's why he's got more subs than me now.
Can't you cannot deny he puts in the hours. I don't know how the fuck he does it. I I worry about his health. I like when they make generic monster sounds. It's funny. I'm going to be raging when Harry the Hammer is the 100th. I wouldn't be raging. I'd be wrong. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, that's interesting. It wouldn't be who I would pick. But like, I'll be the I'll be the first to admit I do not have proper respect or uh, I do not have proper respect for old hammer. Like old hammer and me are just not, we're just not friends. <laughs> yeah, I know it, it really feels like there should have been a secret location at the middle of that lake, but. <laughs> you almost never see sirens in Witcher. Easily the rarest race, it's true. Oh, um, Sean Beck, I, I'm doing better. Um, I'm still not 100% these days. Um, I, I, it's just stomach issues mostly. Um, please die. Um, but it, it is a lot better. Um, dr drowners are not nearly as annoying as sirens, in my opinion, because the drowners don't fly. It's the flying that sucks. Literally, the only annoying thing about drowners is the sheer number of them. Yeah, I, I am doing a lot better um, overall. Like, uh, I can't remember. I don't remember the last time when I talked about it on YouTube was. But, uh, you know, it's, it's just kind of one of those things. Unfortunately, somehow, some way, the, you know, the lining of my gut got worn down. The lining of my stomach. And since it got worn down a bit, you know, I've I've pretty much always had issues with acid reflex. Um, you know, even even before I was um, a, a big lad, uh, which I've lost a lot of weight in the last year. Um, but I'm still, you know, I'm still heavy. I'm not morbidly obese anymore. I'm just fat <laughs> now. But uh, so, you know, hopefully it'll continue to get better as I lose more weight. Um, and it definitely is not as bad as it used to be. I'll say that there, there was a little while there where it was, it was really bad, but yeah. I wish Nurgle had guts out in total war. Yeah, it'd be nice. Unfortunately to do that. Um, he definitely, or like doing that definitely would have increased the age rating, um, to have a monster or to have a monster character with just like their guts and entrails hanging out the, I, I, I don't think they could have gotten away with that by like the way CA sees things. Cause I don't know who the hell CA to go. I don't know who CA goes to for their licensing. But they, they clearly go to, like, some of the most ridiculous uh, people when it comes to, like, determining age rating. Chaos Gate did it? Yeah, that's Chaos Gate, though. We're, we're talking about... We're talking about the guys who can't even put blood in their game for some reason. And they swear up and down it's because of age rating, even though nobody believes them. 
Is Gut Rot Spume old world or AOS? Uh, Gut Rot Spume appeared in the end times of Warhammer Fantasy. So he's technically a fantasy character. Like he, he his origin is he he's Norskin. I'll put it that way. He also is canonically um he also canonically invaded the empire once. Oh yeah, yeah, Chaos Gate is rated M. Yeah, there you go. See, total the, the thing with Sega and Total War or Sega and CA is they want Total War to be rated T, which is a bummer. Honestly, I think it's a bummer. I I wish Total War was rated M. Cuz I just I don't know, I feel like ratings don't really matter much in the modern world. Like, I feel like it mattered a lot more when you had to actually, like, go to a physical store to pick up your games. What the fuck? Oh, 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 what's happening? Oh, God. Oh, oh, Jesus. All right. I, oh, okay. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, all right. Oh, there we go. That was interesting. I don't like it. It takes two shots to kill them all of a sudden. Bro, I like how they're like, the Witcher Enhanced Edition. The Witcher Enhanced Edition is like, just like, with now with more bugs. Well, yeah, like, as far as I'm concerned, like, I don't know, I feel like ratings kind of need to be revisited. As far as, like, teen versus mature versus, like, uh, other age groups. It also feels, it feels like teen is way too broad. Like, what is appropriate content for, like, um, like, a 15-year-old is not the same as what's appropriate content for, like, 12 or a 13 year old you know what i mean teen is a wildly broad category demos man and caver uh Caverino. how you doing welcome to the stream good to see you guys yeah, that's the other thing. Like, I would I would say any game with a loot box or any game with in-game purchases should be more highly rated than, like, a game like Total War with very not realistic-looking blood where bodies explode apart very comically and it also happens at, like, a distance. Kanako, good to see you. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? What do I think Valkia would think of Arbol? Uh, I think she'd have respect for him, but she'd also really want to fight him and kill him. But I, I, I do think she would respect him as one of Korn's, like, mightier warriors. But, you know, as Kornates go, the whole respect thing tends to... tends to get wrapped up with, like, I will respect you by decapitating you and putting your skull in a place of honor on Korn's throne. So, like... Yeah, like I, I'm super not cool with loot boxes or paid content in any way, shape or form in children's games. Like if your game, your game should at least be like forced for like 16 year olds or higher or like adults, but probably just adults actually, if it's gonna have loot boxes, because even then I don't like it, but like, you know, adults are allowed to gamble, even though I, I'm not a fan of gambling.
I'm sure Slanesh fans are upset about the keepers not having nine boobs. Uh, I mean, we we haven't really had a keeper with like the, the boop that much boobage for quite a long time. Um, Sl Sl Slanesh is Games Workshop has done a very good job, and I think this was smart in expanding Slanesh considerably to be much more. Hey, this is the god of excess. You know, this is the god who's very excessive um, uh, about all things. Music, art, uh, poetry, violence, pain, pleasure, alcohol, uh, you know, just like all the sins, uh, greed, gluttony, you know, all that kind of stuff. That's Slanesh. You know, it's not just sex. Um, and it definitely feels like uh, old, old in the 80s and 90s Games Workshop, early 2000s Games Workshop was way too edgy for its own good. And old edgy Games Workshop was like, ah, it's all, it's all sex. It's all sex. It's all sex and rape and all this other stuff. And it's like, and nowadays we're kind of like, ugh. Give us the large lad from AOS. Oh, Glutos, Glutos or Skillion? Glutos is a great character. I love Glutos. He's an excellent representative of Slanesh. And he he's an he's a really nice contrast to uh, Sigvald as well. Can someone do a favorite Chaos God poll? Sure. Mods. Well, I mean that—that's why that's why Slanesh is so much better now. Slanesh is now just purely about excess. It doesn't matter what type of excess, is so long as it's excess. So like you still have sex slanesh it's just it's only a very small facet of the grand scheme the kaleidoscope of excess instead of uh pigeonholing it holds up chat let let us know who your favorite chaos god is go vote and tell everyone else how they're wrong One thing I'm super disappointed about Warmer 3 is there's no variation appearance for the circles in Slanesh's realm. That would have been nice. That, that, that would have been nice. Okay, we are going to Novigrad to sell all this shit. I'm tired of carrying all this crap around, and there are like a billion shopkeeps here. His long search for Siri led Geralt to conclude that Uma, the ugliest man alive and the victim of a curse, was the key to finding the young woman. Oh. I'm back. <clears throat> this <laughs> sorry, sorry. Okay, you're okay. My bad. My bad. My bad. Kill. Come closer. Don't be shy. Sorry. 